and it is the uh, Lantern of Phoenix. Just as you said that the Lightning Lantern is re has requires some special skills. Also, carrying the lantern in the process, it requires skills. So it is a skilled labor. You should, the team members should cooperate. And there should be some members who should blaze the trail to remove the, the barriers. And they should also expect the emergencies, also in narrow lanes. There are maybe two lanterns that are carried on the road, so someone should protect the lantern. So what distance should be kept? Not certain. Today is the f fifth day of the new Chinese, Chinese new Lunar New Year, so Protecting our lantern, first of all, it is the tradition to protect our, uh, to keep the peace in our Zixi village. When we arrived at these three places, can we return home? It depends on the distance of your home. If it is near, then it only takes you about several hours. But it is, if it is farther, then you should walk longer hours. It has three aspects of meanings. First, the flower lantern represents the ha harvest. Through twists and turns, we have good harvests. It represents this meaning. Second, it represents more children. So the flower lantern also has another aspect of meaning. It represents more children for us. Third, it represents happiness and luck. For instance, peony represents wealth. And we also may use some vases, some vases. There are inscriptions on the lanterns. Some are dragons, some are phoenix. Some are other special beasts, the legendary beasts in China's legend. Also, some netizens asked us, I'd like to tell you. This is Jixi village in Fujian province. And this is a historical and cultural village. It has a history of about 3,000 to 4,000 years. Here, we are about to learn about the uh, lantern festivals here. Greetings, I'm the editor-in-chief. My name is Zhe Xinhua. Our, this festival is held by young people. Just now some viewers said, for the folklore in these areas, they are interested in this. They are interested in the cultural and historical items. We are in Fujian province, Longyancheng village. It is in the Jixi village. Another famous thing, famous item in our village is our building. It is called the uh, building of the Hakas. It has 139 small villages. So what are the characteristics? An important characteristic is that the temple's style and characteristics are unique.
the decoration of the doors, the gates, and the rooms are very typical of the local characteristics. We can carefully see this in 200 buildings. Each build, each gate is very grand. We may go into a gate to see, to have a careful look at the gate, so that the viewers may see carefully, uh, see clearly. This temple is built in Shunzhi uh, period in Qing Dynasty. It has a history of about three hundred years. So, what are the characteristics? This temple is built with the characteristics of uh, delicate skills. It has four columns, which comprised its main framework. Now we can see that this is an outer gate. When we enter this gate, we will see another gate made of wood. OK, let's look at the big gate so that we may have an understanding about the characteristics of Jixi village. Now we are in the uh, Huang Shi Jia Miao, Huang Shi Jia Temple. This is the Huang Shi Jia Temple. Currently, it is the best preserved temple in Jixi village. It is typical of our village. It can represent the aim of our buildings in Jixi village. So what are the characteristics and structure? We use the arc of traditional China's uh, of tradition traditional Chinese arc. It looks grand and serious. There are many lanterns, flower lanterns here. Just now you mentioned the bucket arc. It has many layers, indeed. Each bucket lay uh, bucket arc has four and two to four layers. This uh, Huang Shi Jia temple has five layers of has five layers. It was built in Shunzhi period in Qin Dynasty. At that time, in order to commemorate its ancestors, it was built for this purpose. So its style is uh, the traditional Qin, is, in Qin, is the Qin Dynasty characteristic. In GC, we have a special saying. We have three. In our pool, we have no mosquitoes and other insects. It is strange, even in summer, the pool, in the pool there are no mosquitoes or flies. In the folk, folk village, it's different from this temple, especially when we have some special festivals or big festivals. Those activities will be held here. The folk village is used for living, so in function, they are different.
Just now we said that the Huangshijia Temple is to worship the ancestors. So all flower temples should be carried here to commemorate the ancestors. We can see that the uh, it is a kind of ritual that is practiced every year. Each family will bring their flower lantern to their ancestors' place to worship them. In Jixi village, in general, when we have the uh, home temple, and we have t home temples and clan temple, we have four home temples. Currently, we have the general temple, and other temples may be smaller. The, s the home temples and the clan temples are larger. The old people, the senior people in the families may go to the clan temples to worship the ancestors. So whoever carries the flower lantern, they will go to each of the ancestor. In the past, when beginning the Flower Lantern Festival, we need much human resources and wealth. So in early times, our ancestors have made the rules that each year, one family name will carry or will uh, organize the uh, Flower Lantern Festival. We can see the flower lanterns are cl cl clean together, are clung together. So there are about 99 small flower lanterns. And there may be a bumple bumbling into each other. So we should separate people, different persons, to prevent uh, bumbling uh, uh, into each other. It means that the, uh, from the aspect of the village, villagers, the, uh, each family should uh, go through the procedure for uh, at least once. If your family name was chosen, then you should go through the process. It depends on your wealth and your hum labor resources. It is not mandatory, but only several families will cooperate to go through the uh, Flower Lantern Festival procedures. So there are so many viewers here. Many photographers. Each year, we, uh, we have wel we welcome a large crowd of people here. They should also go to other destinations because the destination is farther away. We will not follow them. But there are two folklore festivals, act two activities here. Currently, after this, what kind of activities after this? So what is the uh, level of the uh, flower lantern? It is a non-intangible, uh, non-heritage, non-intangible uh, heritage.
So what are the relations between the folklore festivals and our spring festival? Actually, these two activities will make our spring festival look more lively. And actually, they're connected. For instance, we have the Lantern Festival. Then we may also visit and uh, welcome and uh, invite our other masters or experts to carry the uh, lanterns. About three to five minutes later, another activity will begin. And let's see their preparation. We may also visit the uh, Imperial uh, Home Temple. Can you please also introduce the characteristics of the Imperial Home Temple? Just now, I said that the, uh, the gate decoration is very exquisite. It looks grand. So what are the materials? What are the requirements for the materials? The GC village is a typical village. Our peripheral villages produce wood. So you can see our buildings are mainly built of, uh, built made of wood. If you break the bricks, and the whole buildings will collapse. But the framework is built by wood. It will still stand. We use the uh, green bricks. Outside, we have some limestones. We can see this. So, so you just know you said the green bricks is used to prevent fire. It is exclusively made to prevent fires. Okay, it also has a natural decoration function. Green, uh, green bricks are made of clays. When it, it was burned at first, it was the uh, red brick. And if you continue burning it, it will turn green. In Fujian province, many of the buildings are made of the green bricks. So what are special for these green bricks? Actually. In GC village, we use various bricks. We have kept the traditional characteristics of the Fujian province building styles. At that time, because of wars, especially at the end of the Tang Dynasty and Song Dynasty, there are ma many civil wars. Let's look at this. We have heard the instruments inside. Is it about to begin? We just now heard sauna. So what are the preparations that should be made? For instance, inside they should have, they should light the fire. So is the outer layer made of wood, made of paper? What kind of, uh, what kind of materials? It's made of the Chinese art paper. The frame is big. It is made of the old bamboos. In front of us, several people are carrying the dragon balls. 
its main framework is made of 18 small uh, bamboo frames. We can see that the inside, and we can see the burning fire. So if they turn it and spinning it, will it cause fire? Indeed, this is also a fire inside a paper. In the earliest times, if we have the dragon dance, uh, the dragon ball inside the dragon ball, there should be a fire that, sh that should be lit. But some, but now the tradition has changed. We use the electricity or a light instead of fire. But in our village, we use the fire. So we kept the tradition. Now the dragon dance begins. We can stand and watch. Sorry, I can't hear it clearly. I just said that the uh, if they uh, whack uh, the uh, Dragon Ball, will the fire be removed? Or will the fire go out? Uh, it depends on your skills. After this, the coaches may share with us how to mm, make sure that the fire is not extinguished. It is a bit noisy here. The chip of the light is made from grass. It should be boiled. When it is dried, it can be lit. And then we may put it inside the dragon ball. The body of the dragon is comprised of the dragon head and four body parts. There are five parts. And um, they are connected by the red silk. The major part is its head. The major performance lies, is, lies in its head and the dragon ball. Currently, there are one dragon, two pigs. The dragon is different from other places in China, right? Yes. We can see there are two Dragon Balls. In our village, we may use two balls or three or four balls. So it is traditional, different from the traditional ones. And we have the inno innovative practices. It is the world-class intangible cultural heritage. Our practices are very primitive. One Dragon Ball is extinguished. It should be changed swiftly. We should change the chip inside to ensure that the fire does not go out. We can see their steps. The steps are typical of the martial arts. Our dragon dancing teams may have the middle-aged coaches. We also have young people. They're willing to participate in the folklore activities. And the young people think that the traditional cultures are well preserved. This is also to ensure that the traditional folklores can be passed from generation to generation. We voluntarily organize the young people who are interested in this to learn this traditional culture. We also will have the temporary course of studies. 
We call it the uh, folklore courses. Also, it includes our music and our flower lanterns. We have the such courses. Okay, there are so many newsmen here. We have so, so many cameras. Next, we will have uh, another performance. The red dragon will wind around the columns. There are four important columns. They will first wind round the columns. We can first appreciate the experts, our masters, uh, performances. Next, we will have see the performance of the red dragon winding the columns, and the uh, columns will lead the uh, dragon head, and the dragon will wind itself around the columns. Why should we have such a performance? It is the characteristic of a building. In our Building f building systems, we have four columns. Because dragon is the head of the four spe legendary beasts, and it brings us luck and happiness. The winding round the columns denotes uh, going upward. So it will bring our, us good luck and fortune. Now is the time for the second column to be round, to be wound, wound to be winding. Now is the coach. The performance of the Dragon Ball is closely connected with the uh, performance of the uh, Shaolin uh, Kung Fu Arts. The young man's steps are also uh, derived from the uh, Kung Fu. So it's the, it, so it is a feast to the eye. Next is the fourth column. So the uh, the performances have several faces. The dragon head will find the dragon ball and they will play it will play the dragon ball. And then the uh, dragon dance will be performed outside the building, outside the gate. In general, in festive days or important moments. In major folklore activities, in spring festivals, or when we invite the, the very important guests, we use such activities. 
each chip chip can only burn 10 minutes should so the chip should be changed immediately uh, should be changed uh, when 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 the, uh, before the uh, chips go out They use the paper. The uh, the uh, chips is chips are made of grass, and the grass and the grass is boiled with with oil. I've heard that there are special straw paper which is different from the ordinary ones. The Liangshi paper is. On the one that we often use, it is called the uh, paper of longevity. Why it is so called? Because the Liangshi paper will not fade for several thousand years, and it will not be eaten away by the uh, insects. The manual arts are different. It has 72 procedures to make it. The bamboos were made into straws. And it will be dried naturally. And on the outside looks white. And you will not be oxidated. So what's next? Next is the performance of the music. Shifan music is also a branch of our music. It is a national and cultural intangible cultural heritage. The last cuisine has 700 years of history. For the ordinary Shifan musical performance, why it is so called the Shifan? Why it is so called? because it is performed by over 10 musical instruments. But Shi just means many. We can see there are 11 musical instruments, or we may also use 20 instruments to perform this. So, so what kind of the major musical instruments? Currently, we have seen Zuo Na, Yang Qin, Erhu, uh, Beijing, uh, Jinghua, and the other traditional Chinese musical instruments. Also, we have seen various kinds of musical instruments. So the characteristics of the Shifan uh, music is represented by Sona. When we, we in the past, when we have wars, we'll, we'll blow the horns. It is also like that. It is the small brass horns. He's a very talented musical person because his father plays sona very well. He can also use his nose to blow the sauna. We can see Mr. Huang Longsen's excellent performances. We may not, we may feel strange about some musical instruments. Some will become extinct. 
Now he used his nose to blow the sauna. This is also the small grass, very short. He's very talented indeed. The breath should be very good. The rhythm is not fixed. The ordinary and traditional Shifan musical uh, instruments is uh, often play the uh, ordinary people what ordinary people love. The live, the live, uh, which shows the lives of the ordinary people. Before this, I have uh, invited the ideas of Mr. Rongshen, and he said that the, he adapted various kinds of uh, Jing, uh, Beijing opera and Han opera. He has blended uh, different uh, rhythms. He said he can uh, imitate the uh, different roles in the. Beijing Opera, and he can show this. So it sounds interesting. It seems that he is speaking something, but I'm not sure that he uh, can the viewers hear the musical instruments. But we will try our best to make sure that the viewers can hear the uh, musical instruments clearly. And currently, he performs like speaking something. And uh, on the central part, it is Yang Qing. Now we use the, we also have introduced some cellos. So it is an innovation. It is a small Jinghu. They'll play uh, with the rhythms. On on the uh, uh, behind is uh, other traditional Chinese musical instruments. He plays San Xian, a three string plucked, plucked instruments. On the left hand, he holds a big brass. And he will play uh, with the rhythms. It seems that, that the, uh, he performs two musical instruments simultaneously. We can hear the uh, music in our in on site. Mr. Huang Rongsheng used his mouth to blow the uh, uh, teapot. Teapot is also a musical instrument. It is very hard to play because you can only use the lips, his lips, to create a co. to create a resonance with the mouth of the teapot uh, for the ordinary people. 
uh, it is n not very even easy for the ordinary people to uh, blow uh, the noise with the uh, with the teapot, but he can play the musical. He can can blow it with the rhythms. So it is not easy. He was born in 1983. He's very young, post 80s. Now he uses snows to blow such musical instruments. The assistant will have a test blowing. So it is difficult. Why? Because he ha has to use his left hand to make it keep balanced, the four small brass will uh, have will uh, make the uh, will utter the noise simultaneously. I don't know if the viewers have heard the uh, clearly. And just now, Mr. Huang used his nose to blow the small this brass. Now he plays two small sauna. It's of high pitch. He uses his nose to blow. It's rare. And he should play it when he was very young. He must have at least played it for dozens of years. Now he plays four musical instruments. His assistant helps him. He uses his mouth and his noses to blow the musical instruments with the assistance of his assistant. It's like uh, the traditional Chinese uh, talk show. The person or in front speaks and the uh, the person in front performs and the person behind speaks is an exclusive technique in in uh, in a longyan village it is unique
in here also we'll have some exchanges sometimes outside the uh, village because he has several exclusive skills in the peripheral villages and cities he's very famous Not necessarily. It will play about 10 minutes to 20 minutes. If there are some bad weathers, the performance can be, can be long and can be short. Two brasses. Mr. Longsheng in our Han Opera uh, group has stayed for a very long time, so he may use some elements in Han Opera. And he will use, he will adapt some music, music and performance into his brass performance. Sometimes he will use his brass, his musical instruments to play the roles in the Han Opera. Now the performance is ended. We also asked Mr. Rongsheng. Also, many people are interested in him and how he can do this. Just now we have seen your performances. It's very wonderful. It's wonderful. And how can you achieve this? This, this is our old traditions. We use the circular breath changing. When you're breathing, we we'll reserve some air inside our respiratory system. And inside our mouth, we'll have the rest of the air. We'll breathe the air outside. And we'll use the rest of the, of the air in the mouth to, to uh, perform the so sauna. Now, how can you breathe in the air? And when we, before we breathe the air, we will breathe in the air. Then there are air, both uh, air, both inside our mouth and nose. When we have a big, we will reserve enough air in our mouth and nose to perform sauna. A master like you may have performed for dozens of years. What are the skills? You should have dozens of years of experience, and the old masters should help us. For the first half year, step by step, we can achieve uh, this effect. 
What are the special instruments do you use? We have no. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Huang. Uh, your performance is wonderful. Okay. Our program th today is ended. Just now, you have seen the uh, 99 smaller flower lanterns, which comprised of a big lantern. You have They have the skills to carry the lantern and make it together. And also, we have seen the musical performance. We have learned that the uh, local people have used a very good way to preserve the culture. Also, in this way, we can see so many folk activities. If you are interested in it, you may use your and you may bring your camera to here to go to the Long Yan Lian City to experience the folklore yourself. And thank you for your watching.